Well, the key to successfully treating any potentially deadly disease is to start treating it as quickly as possible, and that means early detection. Well, tonight, reporter Claire Brady has the new breast cancer screening test devised here in Australia, but trialled in the US. And it turns out that Claire could be one of the millions of women around the world this early detection method could save. Around 10% of Australian women who get breast cancer have a family history with the disease. The remaining 90% often think they have nothing to worry about, that it won't happen to them, but it does. I have no genetic link with breast cancer. I've travelled to Dallas, Texas to be tested with a world first breast screening method to discover what my risks are of getting this horrible killer that robs 2,600 Australian women from their families each year. Hey Claire, how are you? Hi. Good afternoon. How are you? Good, very well. What this test does is a gentle swab, so no blood's involved, it's painless. Mm -hmm. And I'll swab each cheek, getting your cheek cells. And from that, we can get your DNA, send it to the lab to be analysed. Dr Rick Jacoby, who runs a breast health clinic, is using the Brevigen test on female patients. And then do a calculation to let us know what your five-year and what your lifetime risk of breast cancer is. This test is so new, many Australian cancer groups don't even know about it. The educational introduction starts in about two weeks. I've had patients who normally, again, would have been in a low risk category. I've found them now to be very high risk and I've been able to implement increased surveillance. Scientists around the world are scrambling for this genome technology. Quietly, the test was developed in this Melbourne laboratory of genetic technologies and it now leads the pack. The test has been in development for approximately 10 years. There's been about $100 million spent on the development of the test. The process of getting a medical product to market is quite rigorous. 50,000 women have been involved in the test development. The Brevigen test was developed after scientists worldwide identified 266,000 genetic markers possibly linked to non-familial breast cancer. That's breast cancer not in the family tree. They then narrowed this right down and identified seven genetic markers that are strongly associated with the breast cancer risk. These seven is what scientists will look for in my swab. So I may find out what may lie ahead. Barbara Cook is 51 and an active mother of two teenagers. She took the test and found out she's now in the high risk group with a one in three chance of getting breast cancer. I thought to myself, I need to do whatever I can so that if I do get breast cancer, that I'm diagnosed in early stages. I do very much feel like I'm more in control uh, with other people looking at my situation and evaluating it. It makes me sleep better at night. Dr Jacoby has a personal reason to pursue this test and encourage women to take it. His wife has come face to face with breast cancer. The mother of two had a double mastectomy. She was fit and healthy when she was diagnosed. Devastating, it turns your world upside down. And I was, I still am, I, I was very healthy. I ate right, I took care of myself, I, I practiced a, a very healthy lifestyle. Dr. Susan Fraser is a breast physician. She welcomes anything that makes women more vigilant about their health. We're finding a lot of cancers here in Australia um, and the treatments are becoming more specific for the type of cancer. So it's important that we still keep researching about what's the best treatment for a particular type of breast cancer. It's time for me to get my results, and I admit, I'm a little nervous. And before I give anyone results, I always like to make sure you understand exactly what these results mean. Mm -hmm. Brevigen, as you may recall, is a, a, not a diagnostic test. So it doesn't mean you have cancer or don't have cancer based on this test. It's a risk assessment tool. So it enables me to know what may lie ahead. Correct. And where I sit. Exactly. Right. It'll tell you okay. what your risk is over the next five years and over your lifetime to develop a breast cancer. So now I'll go ahead and show you your results. And you look here. 
And this tells us that based on just your risk on your family history and your hormonal profile, you have a risk of about 13% of developing a breast cancer in your lifetime. And when we look at your genetics, right. that increases your risk up to 23.9%. 23.9. And so is, am I average, above average? You're above average. If the average woman is going to be a little lower than that, it's going to be maybe 10 to 12% if that, you're about one in four. So that means we're going to watch you more closely, mm -hmm. um, work on lifestyle modification, you know, exercise, diet, and again, do increased surveillance with clinical right. breast exams. Uh, mammograms, and we'll work on seeing if we can get some MRIs uh, more frequently on you as well. Well, now that I have annual tasks to do for my health, that right. that's better for me. I, I feel more empowered. At least now I know what I'm where I'm, where I'm at. Absolutely, and that's the key. Because I wouldn't have never thought that. And that's what's so wonderful about this test, because it mm. really does empower you. Well, now I'm a step ahead of it. Absolutely, I'm not going to sit there and just wait for a lump to turn. Exactly. Up. I may be heading home with a bit more baggage, but it's a souvenir that may save my life. Sometimes we don't always get the news we want to hear, but it doesn't mean we shouldn't listen. I have, and now it's up to me to stay sharp for myself and my family. Get it done. It takes no time. And again, it, it's your health. And I think women don't take that time and they don't think of themselves and it's time that we do. Absolutely and well done to Claire Brady for that report and Australian women can now ask their doctor for the same test that Claire took. There's more information and an extended version of that story on our website yahoo7.com.au slash today tonight.